Hello everybody, Glitch Ripper here, and I'm back for another mob battle. Uh, oh yeah, I need to still readjust a few things from previous, uh... Oh wait, I might need that on for one. Will I actually... No, wait, 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 that's only if I do it with the event. Okay, so that that's gonna be a, a thing later. Okay, anyhow, I've got an interesting mob battle set up here. I'm... Not sure how many of these I'll actually uh, get through. Probably just one. But, okay, let's just make this a series of mob battles rather than just one. Because I want uh, Sukuna to go up against uh, Asmodeus, the Amalgalich, and Ray of Art. Uh, eventually, maybe just one for this. Because this could take a while. Because, let's face it, As Asmodeus has a ton of hit points. And the others just even more. So th this could this could take a while, but Sukuna is so aggressive and powerful that I really want to see this through. And this could get absolutely wild because he has that giant uh, area attack that will more than likely wipe out all of Asmodeus's assistance for a little while and make him vulnerable again, so that he can just get struck directly so that that shielding thing won't be as big of a factor in this mob battle as it usually is so let's see exactly how dramatic this is that said i need to make sure okay i am ready to go so let, let's do this uh again sukuna is stupendously aggressive so i have a feeling i won't need to yeah i, I probably won't need to provoke him specifically Although, the uh, question is, when is he going to hit uh, uh, Asmodeus? Uh, I could aim him, but do I need to? I mean, look, that was just out of the blue. And Asmodeus is definitely going to hit him at some point. All I need to do is make sure he gets closer. Uh, yeah, that's right. I don't have many ways of actually doing that in this particular profile, so I may actually have to point him in the right direction. That said... Like, how much do I really need to provoke this guy? Okay, he's slightly out of As Asmodeus's uh, shooting radius. That that's a little different. Okay, maybe I should just spot him again and it'd be closer. Because again, he's really aggressive. I shouldn't need to use this stick. So let's try that again. Again, stupendously aggressive. Let's try Asmodeus being spawned in first. And then Sukuna being somewhere close to... His force fielding is very tricky to work with sometimes. Like, you get actively pushed away. There we go. Now, will Sukuna hit him, or will something else just happen to be in the vicinity? Yeah, he absolutely nailed that one. How is he dancing around all those shots? Again, I shouldn't have to push him, or... Oh, okay. He's in the vicinity, so maybe he'll get hit this time. Of course, if I can actually get this to... If I can actually get this to hit Asmodeus, I can direct him to hit Sukuna. Wow, he hit that from a long range. I just need to be able to somehow get to his hitbox. He has a... At least I think that was part of his hitbox. It could have been the other one. Oh, th this is so crazy. Okay, now he's within that area. I might not even need to hit him. I'd even just consider that an attack. 
Okay, never mind. But hey, I have done some testing and had Sugana actually uh, naturally attack him before, so that wasn't entirely necessary, but it did ensure that. Ha In fact, I'm still getting pushed away by Asmodeus for some reason. Is this a new ability that he has? To, like, force field you away? I I'm getting pushed, and I'm pretty sure that's not from Sukuna. I'm pretty sure that's from Asmodeus. So Asmodeus is getting pushy. But Sukuna is also dealing damage. Now, I can actively push against the effect. Like, I can run and go up against it, but it's kind of insane that I have to. Now his hitbox is a little goofy though, so uh, Sukuna may have some issues hitting him sometimes, but other times he should be able to just smash him, especially if he does his innate domain, the uh, Cursed Shrine. If he does that, then it's going to just hit everything. Did I mention he can just kind of uh, air jump whenever he wants to? Surprised that that doesn't actually count as Asmodeus's hitbox. That did. Oh, he he got he got smacked around by Daisukuna there. Still going on there. But man, I'm having a hard time getting close to uh, Asmodeus here. Okay, Chris Shrine. Uh, did none of that actually hit, or is it just catching up? I think it might just be catching up to all the strikes and the attack. Ugh. Getting pushed away is make, making it very hard to spectate the action. <laughs> like, like, come on, just let me... Okay, here we go. Curse Shran again. He's going in. I don't have any kind of special effect on me that would do this, per se, but I am getting repelled by Asmodeus. Like, this is definitely from him. I don't recall this being an ability from him before. It kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I just don't remember it being a thing. Like, let's see if I can actually go down and repel me too. Might be kind of more lateral. I know that yeah, he's definitely pushing me away. Okay. Big cutting frenzy from that one again. All those air slashes. Getting cut up with Asmodeus. Whoa! He's going nuts with his innate domain. So Sukuna is totally going for it. Now note that at this time, uh, Asmodeus is down by over by at least 700 points. Now Sukuna is more than half down right now. But to be perfectly fair, the fact that Sukuna got him down this low already is kind of nuts. Oh, I think he disorientated Asmodeus that time. Of 
course, Asmodeus has gotten upgraded. Uh, uh, and up, and Asmodeus has gotten upgraded since the last, uh, since whenever the, whenever I was uh, doing the testing for this. So, I think Asmodeus has gotten stronger. Man, those range punches. Okay, now Asmodeus is down by over a thousand points. Sukuna didn't even start with a thousand points. So that's showing just how much raw offense Sukuna really has. I mean, this is officially nuts. And, uh, Gojo is considered to be stronger than Sukuna, so... Could you imagine if I have to whip out the big gun of the Academy? No Asmodeus joke intended. Yeah, those upgrades, they are slowing down Tsukuna's ability to, uh, to sustain damage here. I said, he, he suddenly just causes a lot of damage with his shrine again. Am I accumulating random stuff from the kills that Tsukuna's been doing? Uh, not as much as I thought, but oddly enough, a lot of flowers. Uh, why is yeah, there so many flowers involved? Uh, that I'm just gonna keep around, but that's that's from another thing. Oh my gosh, he's nearly half down. Where'd you go, Sukuna? Did you did you fall while I was arranging flowers? I think he may have fallen while I was arranging flowers. That or he got distracted by something. To be perfectly fair, he has a very short attention span. And, uh, that's like actually canon. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, if you're gonna do him accurately as a mob, you kinda need to. You kinda need to give him a short attention span as to what he fights. But yeah, that is insane. Oh yeah, okay, there's a finger. So maybe two of Sukuna? So I do want to see that, uh... I do want to see, see that stage where he shields himself and see if he can if he can uh, take that down at this time, after Asmodeus got his upgrades. Also, this might make up for the fact that this is not Sukuna's final form. Uh, supposedly, according to the story, the full version of Sukuna hasn't been shown yet, and he has, among other things, four arms. So, hence the finding of the... Okay, here we are. And it hints the finding of the 20 fingers. But once he gets up to his full power, we'll be able to see just how in incredibly powerful he really is. And since this isn't his full form uh, yet, uh, I'd say letting him have another go is perfectly fine. In terms of at least one extra life, so to speak. Now, to be perfectly fair, I think he needs to do his Cursed Shrine again to take down those Astaroths, because they're making a... Here we go. 
There we go, that gets rid of it. You see, uh, they, in this stage, he creates Astros that specifically uh, form the shield that makes him invulnerable. But, whenever he, uh, whenever Sukuna does that area attack, he wipes them out because he hits a very wide radius with it. And so that disables Asmodeus' ability to maintain his shield because he won't have his assistants powering him up anymore. So, Asmodeus <laughs> shields down. Okay, he started again. Oh, he recognized that Astroth and took him out. But there's another one hiding past the legs. To be, perfect, uh, to be perfectly fair, Asmodeus is very uh, uh, all-consuming of the uh, visual area around him. So it, it's very hard to see past him in most ways. I said it'd be funny to watch that thing just get wiped out casually whenever he does his innate domain, like he's mainly aiming to take out Asmodeus, and just everything else around him is just collateral damage. Again, some of the fighting power of the mobs in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen mod are, are just or spawn levels of crazy, despite the fact that most of them aren't really that big. Here we go. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Although from that range, I gotta admit, that was super impressive. Okay, I did that uh, air splash again. But it's just getting drilled by the hit scan ability of that Gatling. That demonic Gatling is just ridiculous. Oh, they cancel each other out at just the right time. That was amazing. The Astros showed up in that exact moment he used the shrine. Be fair, that was just randomly on top of me. Okay. I don't know where he went. Oh, wow. Oh, Asmodeus shielded himself just in time to not be, uh, well, I'm not sure if he can even take fall damage, but that was very dramatic. Asmodeus basically flew. Whoa! Okay. Now, Sukun is whipping out attacks I haven't seen him use before. Like, that was just a huge explosive wave. He's officially getting mad. So let's treat... This is his second stage there. Okay, he just saw those guys coming. He's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, no minions shall get in my way of my main target. It's illustrated by this, wiping out all minions. Oh, wow. Even with holes in his way, Sukuna is still ridiculous. It's been a while since I've seen uh, Modius actually take damage, but seeing how annoying this stage is, I can I can it, it, there's a good reason why. Hey, I saw that one over there. It's like nope. <laughs> Like, you shall not defy my vengeance. Just pushed into a pool. Okay, now he's taking some serious damage. Astros are coming. There goes one of the force field generators. And will the next walking force field generator fall uh, soon, or will it take another major incident? But either way, how many Sukunas does it take to take out Asmodeus? That, that's an interesting question. Right now, that Astroth isn't firing on him, even though it's aligned against Sukuna. Did it despawn? Uh, 
Ah, uh, where did it go? Cause that that shield shouldn't form unless there's actually one there generating it. So maybe that's a visual glitch. Well, that should take care of them. I think that counts more as an area attack than it does uh, as a bunch of projectiles, so... Yeah, wherever it's hiding, I think it's gone. Nope, the shield's still up. Maybe there's a glitch in that. Because they, they should have to... They should have to have a line of effect, but it's not working. I can't hunt them down through the ground very well. I think he took out Sukuna that way, but again, where is the thing hiding? Is it glitched out? It's like, I can't tell where it's supposed to be right now. Okay, I think it is it, hiding in a weird spot, so... Let me check something out here. Is there... oh. I made it a little too overworld. At the same time, I still don't see where exactly it went. Like, where is it that it's giving him power from? Because it shouldn't be able to do that generator thing through a wall. And yet, he's still getting power. I think he may have glitched out. Uh, that might re require a little refinement because he shouldn't be getting a shield from nowhere. He should be getting a shield from an Astroth that can, in fact, be defeated. That's part of the point of how he does that. And I'm not seeing where the Astroth went. If somebody spotted it, that's... Uh, that, then that's fine, but... Uh, well, sort of. Again, shouldn't be able to go through walls and shouldn't be able to just be having it generated from nowhere. It needs to have, like, a path. So I think that glitched out. Either way, apparently, uh, one Sukuna isn't enough anymore, if it had been before, which I can say before this particular update to Asmodeus, it kind of could. So, that's a little different. It's inter okay, as a spectator, I can't be pushed around by him, but as creative, I can be. That's uh, interesting in and of itself. Okay. Okay, so there's a few quirks to Asmodeus currently. So, I think this might have to be considered inconclusive and there'd be a need for a round two of having Sukuna in his various... Uh, stages, or, or a number of them, go up against Asmodeus, because I think he glitched out and that shield came from nowhere. So, I don't think I can count that. Now, I can also try to have uh, Sukuna go up against the others in between at some point before I uh, get that taken care of, but I, I, I think I may need to uh, mention that to Lycanide that there's a slight problem with the Asmodeus fight right now. That there should be like either at least a line of effect thing guaranteed to be how it works and or no ability from to generate the shield spontaneously. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely thinking there's a glitch there, but A, what do you expect? It, 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 I, I, I tend to run into them. It's just part of who I am, so... Yeah, things happen. Anyhow, I guess that means I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from y'all later, and remember, there will be more mob battles.